This green bottle is a Korean rice-based drink called soju, and it's the most consumed alcoholic beverage on earth. do you guys drink soju? Every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. Agree. Every day? Yeah. You drink soju every day? Yeah. How often do you drink? I drink maybe once a week. When you drink soju, how does it make you feel? I know some Russians, they call it baby vodka. Because it tastes a lot like vodka, but it's not as strong. It's like 16 to 19 percent, like really strong wine. Become happy. <laughs> soju is the world's number one selling liquor by volume, with last year selling over 3.6 billion bottles. And believe it or not, it's becoming more popular. Oh! Oh! Thank you, thank you. But to understand the popularity of this magical drink, let's back up a bit and talk about the drinking culture of South Korea as a whole. I've never seen anything like it. Given that Koreans work some of the longest working hours, drinking is viewed as a way to relieve stress and bond with colleagues. This is the life. It's also cheap, really cheap, like one dollar for a bottle like this. With more than 14 shots of liquor per person per week, South Korea is by far the world's highest liquor consumption country, drinking more than twice as much as runner-up Russia. So it's no surprise that Korea has more alcoholics than anywhere else. <laughs> okay, back to soju. What does it taste like? This clear drink is about half as strong as vodka, which makes it all the more dangerous because it's so easy to drink. And much like wine, soju is supposed to be consumed with food. This is what we call the soju tornado. Whichever restaurant you go to in this country, you'll see the green bottles popping left and right. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> Drinking before the meal, during the meal, after the meal, and often mixing it with beer to take it down in one shot. You're so Korean. <laughs> and what I love most is that the respect elements of Korean culture is represented in the way you pour and drink soju. So the younger person usually should pour with two hands for the older person. And I gotta hold two hands like this. And he's all happy. There we go. And then I give it to him. Yeah. And, you, and he does it for me too. So you never pour your own drink? You never pour your own drink. All right. Good. One thing that I learned is like, because I'm he's older than me, or higher status, I should put my glass cheers a bit lower. I should not go higher. And then when we drink, because he's older than me, I gotta turn away, and I cannot drink facing him. I gotta turn like this. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Whichever way you look at it, South Korea is synonymous with soju, and it's pretty awesome to experience inside of this amazing country. Okay, so this game is the first game I'll show you guys. We take the soju and we're gonna pour in the cup. I can pour as much or as little as I want. The whole goal is if I get this wet with soju, I have to drink the whole thing. And I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna give. So what one? Who's on game and table? Whoa! Oh. Okay, drink it. And I have to drink it. Uh. <laughs> ah. Okay. Should we show this one some more? Because we got a lot of games. It's a Titanic game. Every, yeah, everyone knows like how Titanic ship sink. So now I'm showing here. Oh my god, this is foam. This is ice. <laughs> this is ice, okay. So anyone who make this uh, soju shot, soju shot glass sink, has to drink. On the down, you should drink. Got okay? Got I'm now starting. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Shit, I lost. <laughs> I lost my own game. We gotta drink it all now? Okay. Ready? I just lost the game Titanic, the ship tank, and now I gotta drink it. After drinking, can you smile? Can you show us a smile? Wow, smile here! Oh, smile, smile. <laughs> no smile. No smile. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.